Today at the third and fourth recess, an unfortunate situation happened. A dog got on the playground and bit several of our students. Teachers were present trying to help the kids. The kids were put into the classrooms and moved into the, but it was unfortunate. But one thing that I want to talk about is I've been in this district for 42 years and we had the best response from any of the, from all of the IMSA, from the Oklahoma City Police Department, from everybody involved, our first responder, the district and everything. The kids were safe. The kids were taken care of in a quick manner. They were transported and doing well right now. Well, I'm just going to jump in and uh, echo that, um, but also just give kudos to our staff there, uh, from Principal Rachel's to Mr. Hughes, the teachers who are out on duty, and just recognizing what was happening uh, and running to the problem and not away from it, um, and making sure that our kids were taken care of. So we, we are very, very grateful for um, what took place over there as a response to this, this terrible incident that took place today. And we're, very thankful that our kids are okay. We, we know that um, there were some stitches probably involved and some injuries and, and probably were afraid for a period of time, but we're, we're glad that, uh, that we took the action that we took all around. Uh, very grateful, for sure. Do you guys have any specific questions? Can you talk about how the dogs specifically got into the playground area? I know when I was there, several gates were so we, we assessed the situation once we arrived on scene. Uh, obviously, like you said, there were some gates that were open. Um, we're looking into that. Um, that. That's a problem that we're looking at across the district, not just at Fillmore, uh, making sure that if we need any resources to make sure that those gates are secured, uh, we're going to handle that. Just now when you were saying that you will be looking across the district mm -hmm. in regards to that, you're talking about Sure, and, and then what, one thing I would encourage to provide out to any parents or, sorry. So one thing I would encourage to uh, give out any information to parents is we have a 24 hour hotline they can call, 587-SAFE, that's 7233. They can notify us, we can immediately uh, look into that situation, go take care of it. Um, we do have a lot of gates across the district um, and we're gonna be working, well we, we've identified that um, and we're we're putting we have plans in place to put uh, welded chains and gates that can't be cut off on the fences was this a dog that faculty or staff were familiar with no just just a dog are there any current security protocols for teachers to check those gates before kids go out there or anything like that uh, not no there, there wasn't any I mean I've been there for several years we've not had that protocol um, but we're going to look into a lot of other things that we're going to be doing differently and we're going in fact we're meeting tomorrow to do that to see what we could do differently can you talk about what Mr. Hughes did as far as tackling the dog and having a top of the lens? was he injured at all or what was going through it? Well, I, I didn't realize that Mr. Hughes had tackled the dog until I got around to the large building, and so until I got around to the, where the police were, and then I found out that the dog had gotten into the building, and Mr. Hughes had, by that time, the police, I can say police were there, and that Mr. Hughes had tackled the dog and held him down until the police helped him out. So I'm, I'm not real sure how that happened, but that's what happened. <laughs> you heard all injured? No, I'm not injured at all. He's our hero. That's not a little dog. No. I mean, no. That, what does that say about your personnel? They can't be everywhere all the time, but when it when it when they when they're needed, they they were there. That's why I'm proud of them. Our kids come first at Fillmore and in Oklahoma City Public Schools. They come first, and we'll do whatever it takes to put ourselves in the way of any kids getting hurt. And he did that, and I'm very proud of him. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to have a Lee Hughes day or something at school. <laughs> Do you know the status of any of the children with injuries that have to stay in the hospital or be released? I don't think any of the kids are gonna be hospitalized. I believe that uh, I, I've talked to several of the parents and I've had some conversations. I would probably have been there now instead of here. 
but uh, they're going to release them. There's been some stitches and, and you know, some tetanus shots and things like that. And then there was, I think, we might have had a possible injury with the kids falling and running and stuff like that. So, but they're they're doing well. Everybody's getting taken care of. Dr. McDaniel, you worked in other school districts. Have you ever heard of something as widespread as this? Kids on recess getting attacked by a dog. We were we were just talking about that, and uh, this is a first for both of us. Um, and I think again, just just to echo what's been said, just the the response. Had we hesitated, had our folks done something different than what they did, we might be talking about a different result here. But uh, we we are. And she said it, but, but I'm going to say it again. We are really grateful for Mr. Hughes and just you know, his commitment to our kids and do, to do the right thing. And, and we think that had he not taken the action that he took, um, we could have had more serious injuries. And so, again, we're grateful. But no, this, this is a first for me. Because I read in what the school district put out after it happened that this dog actually was getting into a hallway. Yes. Me, that, that, that makes me believe the dog was going to get in that school. Mm -hmm. And that's when he mm -hmm. did what he did. He kept the dog from getting into the school, yes. Is Doug fighting back at all with you? I mean, was it, were you able to just kind of tone it down? I had it, had it pinned and my arms locked around his head so it couldn't move. And then a police officer showed up, is that right? Correct, and he, he got on top of me and the two of us kept the dog pinned until more employees arrived. Do you feel like a hero? No, no. Everybody just did what they were supposed to do. Lee, do you have experience with dogs? Is that kind of... Yeah, I, I mean, I'm a special ed teacher. I'm used to being able to just do what needs to be done, and it just worked out real well. Well, I mentioned that we're going to be reviewing our procedures, what happened, our policies, looking at what we did and what we could have done better. No matter how good you do, there's always something you can do better. And so we're going to be looking at that as a staff and I think as a district also, making sure that this is highly unusual and I've been at this 42 years and never had it. So we want to make sure that there's always that situation where you don't know what's happening, but our procedures of taking kids off the playground worked. And, but there's some things that we might want to look at if that happens. At our third and fourth grade recess, a dog got on the playground and started uh, biting children and, and chasing kids, and several of the students were, were bit and transported. And, uh, but thankfully, like you said, they're all going to be... Everybody's fine. I mean, we're checking. Everybody's going to be fine. And we've got counselors coming, and because and, it, was, it was, you know, kids, and we got counselors coming, talking to the staff, and with the kids, they'll be coming tomorrow, and we've got some things in place already set in place for that. What would you say the time frame was between when the dog was first noticed and you know first started attacking to when it was kind of wrangled up? Five minutes. Five maybe, maybe. to seven minutes on probably. the outside. Probably. So it was all very quick. Quick. Very quick. Very quick. Wow. And what time? I didn't ever heard what time it happened. It was after the, it was at the, toward the end of the third and fourth recess, so it was around 11, 12, 12, 12, 40. 12, 40, 12, 12, 40. 12, 40. And we had had a note that the dog was finally detained in the hallway, but it was actually outside. It was in the hallway. Oh, oh, it had, okay. Entry, it was into the entry, yes. Mm -hmm. And we don't know whose dog it was. Oklahoma City Animal Control's investigating that. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Good job.